Hey, my name is Joachim Hahn. Um, I'm here re uh, responsible for the engine development for company Kia. And today I'm proud to show you our new member of the so-called Gamma engine family, which is in particular our first turbocharged member of the Gamma engine. The turbocharger you can directly see here. You can see here in dark brown the so-called integrated turbocharger, which means that the exhaust manifold is the same part as the turbocharger housing. This gives us some freedom in designing the ducts to the turbocharger with a benefit in the flow and therefore also a benefit in the uh, efficiency of the turbocharger itself. Yes, maybe efficiency is the, the most important word for this new engine. Um, so we are able now with the same displacement, 1.6 liter, as the natural aspirated sister engine to produce much more power and much more torque. The engine has a peak power of 204 horsepower and 265 newton meters in a wide speed range from 1,750 RPM up to 4,500 RPM. Yeah, additional uh, things have to be adapted on the engine if you design a turbocharged engine, which here is in combination with the so-called direct injection technology. We have a high pressure pump over here, which is actuated by the camshaft, and this high pressure pump um, delivers the pressure for the fuel injectors which directly spray into the combustion chamber. The benefit is that we have some inner cooling, we can increase the compression ratio in comparison to a port fuel injection and that directly has a positive influence on the efficiency of the engine. So, our first application of this Gamma 1.6 Turbo GDI is the all-new Proceed GT, like we call it. For the first time in the C segment, we are now offering a car with more than 200 horsepower. And the idea, of course, of a car that is called GT is to give the customer some vehicle that delivers fun to drive, but that still fulfills his requirements in terms of fuel consumption. That is a uh, very important point. In fact, uh, as you have uh, seen, this small engine is able to deliver more than 200 horsepower, which is now interesting for a sports car. But of course, the engine could also be used in a bigger vehicle, where it could replace bigger displacement engines with then a benefit in fuel consumption. Of course, we are also thinking currently about the replacement of existing naturally aspirated engines of that size and there we of course come to some displacement ranges in the area of 1.2 liter. Um, that in fact is also something that has to be defined for the later vehicle. In our first application we took a focus to the fact that we want to deliver a car which is especially nice in what we call the elasticity of the car, which means that we think we are quite competitive in the acceleration from 80 to 120, exactly what you want to have and what you want to feel if you want to pass some other car.